Okay, this is a triple jump lift box drill, and I'm going to show it using a couple different athletes. Um, one's a girl, obviously, and the other one's a guy. And I want to show two different people because they have they represent two different types of uh, takeoffs. Um, one of which is a single arm jumper, and the other one's a double arm jumper. Both were high school athletes at the time. Um, in fact, the boy would end up being the California State um, triple jump champion, jumping 50 feet in high school. So it's a pretty accomplished jumper. So let's take a look. Okay, the first one's Shana. And um, well, I like this drill because the lift box, which is this tool right here, is a box that's approximately four, no more than six inches high. I prefer closer to, be closer to four inches because it can teach the athlete to work on cycling the leg through on the hop phase. One of the problems with the hop phase for most beginning level jumpers is they tend to pump the free leg back. It's important to understand that the triple jump begins at the step phase. It's hard to understand for most people, but we do not want to jump on the initial takeoff. It is important to run off the board in a, with a minimal hip dropping or preparatory movement, much as, as we would do in a long jump. We don't want to do that because the angle of uh, projection in the, high, in the long jump is much too high. The triple jump angle of projection is closer to 15 degrees, whereas in the long jump, it's between 19 and 23 degrees. So rather than advancing the knee up super high, it's important to advance the legs forward. And as we advance the legs forward, as we make our step through, we want to get the athlete away from their natural tendency to pump the leg backwards. Remember, if you pump the leg backwards, because everything works with equal and opposite reaction, the chest necessarily has to go forward, and we don't want that to happen. Because the chest is going to go forward enough just by virtue of its hinge moment. And the hinge moment is basically, think of it, a, a controlled trip, for lack of a better term. Um, for the sake of this particular video, I don't want to go into too much explanation of the hinge moment and those types of forces just yet. But let's just talk about it. So what happens is the athlete imitates as if this area here is a takeoff for like their their triple jump. So in this case Shana is a is going to be a right foot jumper, okay? So because she's a right foot jumper, right right left jumper, she's going to, that's going to be her takeoff and perhaps the, the, the arrow should probably be here. Probably should be here. Okay? And then from that position, she's going to take off and then she's going to cycle that leg through like so. And the reason why we want to cycle the leg through because we want the athlete to remember while they're in the air this leg does not pump back, but instead it cycles through as if they're running. And so we want to get that feeling as if we're cycling the leg through. As we cycle the leg through, the takeoff leg will then advance forward, as you can see. The thigh will advance forward in this fashion here, in a linear fashion, like so. As the leg advances forward, then it puts itself, we put the leg in position to be able to strike down and back, like so. So, for the sake of this exercise, we're going to use a skipping movement into our next position and then get ready to take our next movement into a more of a, like a, like a step phase and a jump phase. And we'll talk a bit more about that as we work our way through. Marquise, as we're working on a movement where he takes a double arm movement on the on takeoff, I'm not a real big fan of that and eventually I convert him to a different movement, but just for the sake of this drill, he was still taking a double arm movement to take off. So I'm not going to talk too much about that. In this case, we are using this line here as a takeoff. Again, he's a right, right, left jumper. So right leg, left leg cycles through as if he's running. He advances the leg through. As you can see, the thigh, the initial thigh does not go up. This does not go up, but it goes forward as if he's running, which is what we want. We do not want to have the, have the initial thigh jump up or go up as if he's jumping high, like a high jump or even a long jump. He cycles through, runs through the board, or through the box in this case, then brings the hop leg up in position to be able to engage. We want to drive that leg down hard. We want to drive that leg down with a flat foot attack here. It's actually more of a heel to toe rolling, but I tell the athletes flat foot. As they do that, we want to swing the arms. In this case, you see he's a double arm jumper, so I teach all my double arm jumpers to swing the arms through, leading with the thumb, as you can see. He's swinging the arms. He's got a good pre-stretch. The thumb is down. 
to engage the arms to swing forward like so. As he does that, of course, the leg comes down in this direction. And they're pretty much meet together once he's really driving through and he's at full foot support, as you see here. Then he comes up to here. We take like a skipping movement as if he's going to go into a, into a uh, step phase. Again, we re-engage the arms. Good stretch. The arms are well back. And that's one of the things a lot of our jumpers do not do is they don't get the arms well back. It's important to understand is after, after we hit that ground hard, this is our first actual jump. Again, off the boards a run. Run in the air. Now we jump. Strike hard. Leg comes up. The harder we strike down, the more that knee will come up, which is what we want. We do want the knee up on the step face. He's cycling, waiting, waiting, waiting. Of course, we're imitating because so we're not actually in the air. Strikes down hard. Notice that the leg is fairly straight. Another, another thing for jumpers is we do not want to have the knees too deeply bent when you hit the ground. Strikes through, brings the arms up in preparation to imitate his landing mechanic. Now here's where we do it running. Here we place cones on the ground to imitate as if the athlete is taking off from a board. We want the cones to be relatively close to the box because we don't want the athlete to jump up and down on the box. We want the athlete to actually step and drive through the box as if they're running. It's a mistake to jump onto the box. So they run through the box. As you can see, her takeoff leg advances, or the takeoff knee advances forward, which is what we want. And as she does that, runs through the box. Now that hopping leg. She's a right by left jumper. Notice now the hopping leg comes up. And not only do you see that, you'll also see that there's a big stretch of the arms. You notice that the humerus bones of both arms are on a parallel plane, as you can see here. Big stretch to the rear, big stretch to the front. And that's what we want. Big stretch to the rear, big stretch to the front. Really, really important. Now she waits for the ground to come to her, strikes down the flat foot. One of the things that Shana probably could have done a little bit better, she tends to toe down just a bit, so that's actually a mistake here. I like to see the foot a little flatter and maybe just a little bit more in front. And then she jumps up into her step phase right here. It's very good looking step phase. Good leg split. She was a single arm into a double arm jumper. Um, good knee split. And wait for the ground to come to her and strikes through. Again, she tends to strike down with the toe a bit. And I think that kind of hurt her jump, jumps a little bit. Now you see Marquise. Same exercise. He's a bit more of a accomplished jumper. And you'll see the same movements here. As he moves, works through, there's the board. Runs off. Advances that leg forward and strikes. See the difference on him? There's a bigger leg split between. You also notice that the, his foot is flat on contact. That's what we want. The arms are still loaded well behind. If the arms are loaded well behind, he can apply power to the ground. Then there's not too big of a knee bend. Back up into the air. Holds a split. Swings the arms back. And again, flat foot landing. Good leg split in between, drives up, arms are up, body's in a good extended position. If he drives up strongly or drives down strongly, then the body will, of course, go up strongly, which is what we want into our long jump phase. And then we obviously we will do a landing if we have dirt there. We actually do this sometimes using this area here as our pit as well, and where the athlete can actually jump into the dirt and practice the full landing. But you can do it on the grass as well. Only difference is, of course, you can't land completely. So that's our lift box drill. And in my opinion, um, it's one of the best drills you can do to teach a jumper how to do the hop into the triple jump. And we can actually literally triple jump a lot without tearing up the legs by doing this exercise.